10,000 gold lead. Chovy is at three items. Now, the real break point where they can come back is kind of like four items because you guys can see Chovy doesn't have pen yet. So not having pen, look at how much magic resist is on the enemy team. You have you have Negatron, uh, you have Negatron Mercs, you have No Magic Mantle, QSS, you have Mercs, Abyssal, plus Sejuani, and then you have Banshee's Veil, Mercs, right? So he needs to get Crypt Bloom, or, or yeah, Crypt Bloom. He needs to get Crypt Bloom, and once he gets Crypt Bloom, he can actually just carry the fights. And then likewise, Pei is, he, he's at a point where like, yes, he has a lot of utility, has that Bloodthirster. He doesn't yet have Pen. So the fourth item is really where TS doesn't have a way to answer Genji's range. But the problem is, is that fourth items don't come in, in League of Legends, uh, you know, until... Oh my lord! 35 minutes, 34 minutes, typically, and Lehen's just, look at that. I, there's just no damage, there's no damage, there's there's just no... Now look at this, look at this. Imagine all this poke actually dealing damage, because they had pen. Oh my god, Pays, dude, is honestly... Dude, he... Uh, Pays, in, in, in the absolute face of defeat, and you guys can see it. You can see the wide concaves that Genji is able to get, you see the range from Ezreal. And the range from Huey, and this is the exact way that the team comp is supposed to play out. And now you also see the utility from Ezreal. Has the Bloodthirster. He's able to heal back up in the fight. Cloud Soul, though, is stolen. And Lahenz is being locked up. And look at this, man! They're still repelling them. This is beautiful. This is actually, this is really good. We got to see both stages of the drafts on both sides come out. We got to see Genji's vulnerability to the just inherent base stats of TS's champions. We saw that all throughout with Braum's just inherent base value, Sejuani's throughout all of the game. And we're, we're getting to see glimpses of what Ezreal and Hui will do. And as soon as they get their fourth items, there's, it, it's so hard for TS to win. So these fights are kind of going like this. You can still see that they're actually TS favored. It, it's basically a razor's edge right now for Gen G. If they make one slip up mechanically, if Pays just fucks up an arcane shift or like the poke just isn't quite right or something, they do instantly lose a fight. But you can see that they have the tools now with that high amount of ability haste, with the lifesteal on Ezreal, etc. They need to get to the pen on, on Huey and Ezreal, and once that's there, TS actually just starts bleeding in fights, because they can't actually reach Huey, they can't reach Ezreal, etc. The kite back, the sustain, everything, all that other stuff. Now, Cloud Soul does kind of mess with this. I mean, it, it absolutely does. It makes it very difficult uh, for that mobility advantage, etc. But... Still was was actually I mean it was nice to see it, it, it's very rare in pro play that even in the face of such deficits you get to see drafts collide against each other with their specific archetypes and so that that, that that's very nice and I like this TS they're playing very cool calm and collected. <clears throat>